Hi guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to today's video. It's been a hot minute since I picked up my camera to do some YouTube stuff and we'll get into why all of that is later in the video. But I really just wanted to say hi to you guys. We have a lot to catch up on, like some life updates and everything. And we're getting into the holiday season, so let's be real. As a full-time content creator, the content creation really be at like 150%. We are firing on all cylinders. There is so much to do. Um, before we get too far into things, I actually need to pick out an outfit of the day and I really wanna style some pieces from Petal and Pup. I recently got a package from them. And by the way, thank you so much to Petal and Pup for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you know I love Petal and Pup. I talk about them all the time. And I'm gonna be sharing some new arrivals from their website that are perfect for anything from fall casual outfits to a fall like special occasion or even holiday event. That kind of ties into life update number one. I can't believe that it's almost the end of October already. It's October, I think 18th while I'm filming this and I'm going on like back to back to back trips all of November for, I think I'm going like three or four different places. I really haven't traveled anywhere since June, which is crazy June. July, August, September. Okay, so it's been like a few months, but November is gonna be absolutely packed with so many different activities. So I picked out a bunch of different items from Petal and Pup that will hopefully get me through all of those different events and vacations and stuff. And by the way, also my Petal and Pup discount code was updated. It's now MK20 for 20% off site-wide. That also stacks with sale and they have so many cute fall arrivals right now. Their like sweaters and outerwear are super cute right now. And I say this in literally every video, but if you're looking for a special occasion dress, like if you have a fall wedding or something like that, check out Petal and Pup. They are the best. So let's pick out our outfit of the day. These are all the new pieces from Petal and Pup. I am actually gonna do the haul in a second too, but I was thinking because today is like the first day that we actually have fall weather in Portland. Like it's only, I think around 50 degrees today. Woke up to cloudy skies. The sun's kind of peeking out right now. But yeah, anyways, I know I want to wear this top from Petal and Pup today. It's like this little white corset style top. And then I'm debating, I guess it really depends on how warm it gets today. This really cute like fringe cardigan. And I think that would look really cute layered with a corset. Or I actually already wore this jacket for a photo shoot earlier. I think it was last week. This green corduroy jacket, absolutely obsessed with it. So those are kind of the options. I think I'll pair it with um, some denim. So I'm going to get changed really quick and show you guys my outfit. Here's what the white corset top looks like. So freaking cute. I feel like this is a really good basic. It's also made of a nice like stretchy material even though it has this boning on it. I really like the look of corset tops but wearing them every day is sometimes not practical if they're not made of a comfy material. So that's why I really like this one and the back of it has adjustable straps on it which is really nice. And I think for now since I'm just hanging out at home I'll do this cardigan for now. I might throw on the green jacket if I go out to like dinner tonight or something like that. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is so freaking cute. I love this. Okay, now that we've got our outfit on, let's do a proper Pendle and Pop haul. I can't get over the fringe on this. It's just, it's so cute. So the other week I did a photo shoot with a photographer for Marriott. I met him earlier this year and he happened to be in town doing another campaign for the hotel. So it was so nice to reconnect with him and take some awesome photos. He's an amazing photographer and videographer. And the whole theme of it was like life in Portland, just like living downtown on the go and stuff like that. And so I took this jacket with me and it looked so cute in the photos. I'm so glad that I got it in this green color. It comes in a few different ones that are perfect for fall. They're like all fall neutrals, but I have a little bit of a hyper fixation on green at the moment. So that's why I got this color. I thought it was adorable. You know what, I'm actually, I'm just gonna throw it on right now. It's also like a medium weight jacket so I think it's really good for like October to November. I mean depending on where you live. I'll be honest it isn't the warmest jacket you'll ever wear but I think it's really good for layering like a sweater underneath and then doing this on top. And yeah I just think this jacket is adorable. I've gotten so many compliments on it already and once again this white basic just it goes with everything. Like I could do either of these on top as a layer and it looks great. So aside from the casual wear I did pick out two kind of like holiday 
special occasion dresses um, because I have a couple of things that I just want to be like prepared for in case I have to dress like this and if any of you guys are going to a fall wedding like I said these would be absolutely perfect so I picked out this wine colored velvet maxi dress and saying I'm obsessed with this dress is an understatement I actually picked it out also because I did a couples photo shoot at a vineyard last week and I wanted to wear this dress there so bad but it was quite literally 80 degrees outside I would have been roasting but if you're going to a fall wedding at a vineyard I'm just saying this dress would be perfect like look at the color on it and you guys will see in the try on it has this like cinched cutout on the side that I think just snatches you in and also for all of my petite gals I feel like Petal and Pup fits really really well. I wear a US size 0 and I'm a pretty true to size extra small. Even though this is a maxi dress it doesn't need to be tailored at all. I love the slit on it and it just ended up being the perfect length. So yeah absolutely obsessed with this dress and then I also picked out this black one that I just thought was so cute for maybe like a holiday party or something. It's like not too crazy, you know, no sequins or anything like that, but I thought that the little like cuff on the sleeve was super cute, that like little feathery detail, but otherwise it's just like a black ribbed bodycon dress. Super comfortable and classy. I think this would just look nice with like a pair of heels and maybe a sparkly bag or something like that. So those are the two holiday dresses I got from Petal and Pup. And then I also wanted to pick out kind of a fall outfit that's either like work appropriate or just a little more dressy. I might even want to wear something like this to Thanksgiving. I feel like I get a lot of questions around this time of year of like what to wear when meeting your significant other's parents or like going to a family function where you know you just have to dress a little more modest and I thought that this was a great option. You really can't go wrong with it and you can wear it for the rest of fall and winter as well. So I just picked out this simple cream turtleneck. It'll go with absolutely everything. It's a little bit oversized so I think it'll go great with either just like leggings and do it untucked and kind of oversized or you can even tuck it up into your bra and then to go with this I picked out these um, kind of like taupe beige colored trousers I have a couple of different trousers from Petal and Pup and really like them if you're looking for like that wide leg style trouser they have a bunch of different ones to choose from a lot of fun colors and prints as well if that's more your style but yeah I just really like the color on these I think that these two will go so well together just like tuck in the sweater to the pants it looks super chic so yeah that's everything that i got from pedal and pup thanks so much to pedal and pup for sponsoring yet another video of mine all of these items will be linked in the description box down below as usual i wear a us size zero in everything i feel like i've been filming in my room for a really long time and like all of my youtube videos are filmed in my room but it's where i get the best lighting it's so much brighter in here um, but I think maybe I'll take you guys out to the living room. I actually have some living room updates. I want to do like an official living room update video later this, well, it's already almost the end of October, probably in November. I have a couple more finishing touches to do, but let's go take a look out there. Ta-da! Really quickly, here's a living room update. I finally got a coffee table. I quite literally impulsively purchased it after seeing a TikTok video because it was such a good deal. I'll have everything linked in an official living room reveal a little bit later because I still have some finishing touches to do, but I also got this gorgeous floor lamp, just been adding like some decor. I got a fiddle fig, another canvas for the wall, and then here's a look at the TV stand as well. So yeah, that's a little living room update. It's crazy what adding some decor to the space can really do. Also, ambient, is that the right word? Ambient lighting, like adding the floor lamp and everything. My apartment just looks so much cozier at night. I can't believe I waited this long to do that, but yeah, it's just coming together so well. So stay tuned for a final reveal on that. I actually need to go do some more work today, put down the camera and film some other content for like TikTok and stuff. So I will see you guys later today, if not tomorrow, to pick back up on some more fall things. Hello again. Oh my God, my hair is not... <laughs> not the vibe not the vibe it's been a few hours since I picked up the camera and I thought I would just give you guys kind of the life update and why I hadn't posted on YouTube in like a month literally no one asking me telling my life story it's really not that deep though also I have been sat on the couch 
for like the last couple hours working and if there's anything you should know about me is that I will not be caught wearing anything except for like sweatpants or leggings sitting on my couch. I do not care how comfy my jeans are, they will not be worn. I'll probably get dressed up again a little bit later and put back on the outfit that I was wearing earlier, but for now, this is what we have going on. Also, I don't know if it's because I just haven't been filming on my camera in so long I'm like used to my phone, but I feel like the video quality on my camera is almost better than it ever has been. And I look so freaking tan. My self-tanner turned out really well last night and if I didn't say it already, this is my first time self-tanning this fall. I tried to put it off as long as possible because we kept having, you know, like summer weather in Oregon literally being like 80 degrees every day even though it's mid-October. But it's finally like getting overcast. The UV index is like low and I just know I'm not going to be able to like actually tan outside anymore. So I tried to put it off as long as possible, but we're back on our self tan grind and honestly it feels pretty freaking good. Anyways, back to why I turned on the camera to begin with. Um, I know I hadn't posted on YouTube in such a long time. I was really consistent with it. And I guess the long and the short answer of it is that I am a full-time content creator and I have three main social media platforms that I use. I also, I realize I've been looking at the viewfinder this whole time and not the actual lens, so apologies. Um, but my main platforms are TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I do everything myself. I don't have like management or an assistant or anything like that. So some of it just being, I guess, strategic with my time management but also i guess at the end of the day not having the self-discipline and like i can admit that to fully maintain all three of those platforms at the same time constantly that's why i haven't been on youtube for like the last month because i it's like a balance of you know hustling and being on the grind and taking advantage of every opportunity i have to grow my channels while I can, but also like not losing my mind and feeling burnt out in the process. And I, for the last month was just like, I can't do all three. Like this is exhausting. I can't upload on YouTube. Like I don't have the bandwidth for it. And granted, like I could, if I only wanted to sleep like five hours a night or not have a social life or, you know, not do this or that. Um, but it just didn't feel worth it to me. And I don't know, it's really weird to like admit that out loud because like saying it out loud i feel like i'm making up excuses or like trying to explain something that doesn't really need an explanation but that's the honest truth being a full-time content creator like a full-time business owner is no joke in between the content creation and the admin and trying to like grow multiple platforms at once by yourself it's it's a lot and I guess that's all I'll say on that. We are back. It's the end of October. I'm really hoping to get this video up this weekend and just be back on the YouTube grind. Another thing, I guess some behind the scenes of being a content creator, I also just because I don't have the bandwidth to do everything I want all the time, I kind of had to make a choice of what platforms are benefiting me the most right now and like what is worth putting my time into and my TikTok account has been growing like really really well and a lot of you know the sponsorships which is how I make my money as a content creator are focused on TikTok and all of that so I just had to give myself fully to that platform and you know capitalize on that opportunity while I could if that makes sense so that's kind of another reason why I haven't been uploading as much on YouTube. So yeah, I really just, I guess, wanted to give that update, tell you guys what's up, and do a little bit of like a day in my life as well on top of today's sponsorship because I just wanna like keep it real, I guess, and I didn't want my uploads for the next month, especially getting into holiday season when I know like everyone is just being bombarded with marketing and like for content creators or like anyone in social media or I mean just marketing in general, holiday is the busiest time of the year with Black Friday and you know all of that. And I know that you guys are going to see a lot of sponsorships, whether that is a product mention on my channel or just from everyone that you're watching on the internet. And so yeah, I just wanted to show, I guess, more of my life and myself and make sure that my content isn't just like 100% sponsorships all the time because that's not the point of my social media channels or anything like that. So 
yeah as far as what else we have going on today i'm actually going to start editing this youtube video i think today just like importing the footage and kind of rough cutting it to what i want i have a bunch of like random stuff i need to do tonight i gotta go to the gym i think do a little like leg day or something like that i guess another life update i actually recently changed gyms i don't go to like the big box la fitness or anything like that for a couple reasons i had one too many bad experiences with creepy men that i just didn't want to go to a gym like that anymore and apparently la fitness kind of has that reputation which i didn't know like everyone i've talked to about it they're like go to 24 hour fitness if you want to go to a big box gym i'm like okay i wish i knew that before but that was one reason and also i wanted to go to a gym that I felt comfortable filming in and a lot of the gyms like LA Fitness and 24 Hour and stuff don't really allow filming. I mean, I, I don't know, it's kind of a gray area and I want to feel comfortable bringing in like a whole tripod microphone situation. So I joined another gym that's just like way more the vibe. I feel like training there is so much nicer. Why did I even start talking about that? I, I don't know, but anyways, we're still in the gym grind too and i should really go in and do a leg day i could do one right now if i wanted to i don't know if i want to do that though or if i want to wait until like later anyways that's the life update i have been talking for long enough already i'm gonna go back to all things youtube start editing this youtube videos keep watching my youtube vlogs on my tv and i'll talk to you guys soon hi guys it's been just a little bit since i checked in i I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. I basically just worked a little bit this evening. Went to the plant store, actually got a new plant. This one is so cute. I don't know what it's called, but the leaves are like velvety. And yeah, it's so cute. It was only $16. Um, I need to go get a pot for it soon. I ended up losing a few plants in the move over the summer just because I had some that were kind of like on their last leg and I just didn't think that they were going to survive the move like I had to bring them all with me in my car and I was like you know what I'm just going to get rid of them get some new plants to my new apartment so I've just been you know collecting some along the way but yeah I did some meal prep tonight if I didn't say that already it's already Tuesday so I didn't have a ton to prep but, but I've really been trying to meal prep like every week just so that I'm eating out less and eating better too because I like never have an excuse to not eat good food because it's like already prepped if you know what I mean and I think it's also a bit more affordable so just did some meal prep tonight oh my gosh this is this does not want to come off I talk about all of my workout supplements more in like a fitness transformation video I did a little bit ago but I'm trying some new flavors today. I have Mango Splash and Paradise Cooler. So I'm just hoping that this tastes like tropical goodness, honestly. I was kind of getting tired of my last flavor because I'd been drinking it for so long. We're gonna be doing glutes today, I think. And I'm just gonna go to my apartment gym today. I'm not gonna record my workout um, because the gym there has been so busy lately i think everyone has just been on their gym grind and it's not a very big gym i don't want to take my camera or anything but when i'm editing this video i'll put what my workout is on the screen if you guys are interested today's gonna be kind of a weird day though it's not like my exact glute day since i'm just at the apartment gym i don't have like all of the equipment that i'd usually want to use but we're still getting it done. I can like already tell that these flavors are gonna be fire. Still, let's do a little taste test. That's pretty good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I am gonna finish drinking my pre-workout, get ready to go to the gym, and that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. If you're still watching, seriously, thank you so much. I know that this vlog is gonna be a longer one. So happy to be back on the YouTube grind. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.